Yeah, so this season must be the toughest season for you or just the most different season, what would you say? I'd probably say the, the last 12 months really have been really, really tough, even going back to the back end of last season when we played the, I think it was nine games, seven games, getting off to such a great start against Bournemouth, you know, thinking, you know, we, we've managed this lockdown period really, really well. The players have come back, they look fit, they look sharp. So then going on a run of games where, where up until I think the last game of the season, which we drew, we, we lost and it's seven on the spin. And then you come into this season after a very short break and there are, there are a lot of challenges because, you know, the co you know, pre-season with COVID, you, you weren't, although you were back in training, you weren't able to do a traditional sort of pre-season. And it, you know, not, not just because you had a, a reduced amount of time to do it in, but just you're restricted into what type of drills you could do and, and you know, the extra work that players tend to do. You know, everyone's been in the same boat. You know, we're, we're, we're not the only club to, to, to you know, be in a situation. Every club's had it. So yeah, I think looking back, I think it certainly, it certainly opened your eyes and, and, and made me realise just how important pre-season training is. So that's probably the one thing I'll take up from it. That and the fact that it is very, very difficult when you are playing every sort of four or five days. You know, some of these big clubs that do the top six clubs that are involved in Europe, European competitions, it is, it's so challenging. Does it make you think, how did we do this in the championship? You're not exposed to three game weeks in, in the Premier League very often. Um, and when we do get a three game week here, it's, it's a big challenge. You know, it's no secret we have an old squad um, and we don't do it very often. So you have, to, it, you have to change things in the lead up to that three game week. It's a real challenge. I mean, you know, we, we did it in the championship, obviously, we, you know, at the time when, before we come into the Premier League. And, um, you know, it's a forgotten memory now, you know, playing midweek. Um, but that is, that is a huge challenge. You know, get, you know having, having a squad big enough and robust enough to, to be able to compete now three games a week consistently is very, very tough because the game now is so quick, it's so demanding, um, a lot more than, than even sort of 10 years ago. You mentioned the old squad. You've been here when a player has joined, say, at the age of 26 and then is now 31, yeah. 32. So do you have to keep an eye on them? And at what point do you notice that you have to manage them in a different way? Mm. Is it when they start picking up injuries that they didn't used to? Yeah. Yeah, it is, and a lot of it is is through communication. We tend to, we, we try not to, because you don't want to pull players out of training and, and, you know, sort of go to the manager and say, well, he can't do this and he can't do that. But, you know, you have to realise that at some point in a player's career that you can't do what you were doing eight years ago. So that there needs to be an acceptance from the player, first of all, that, um, that they, they can't train how they used to train. And that's not just missing a whole day's worth of training. It might just be coming out of the last bit of training and just, you know, rather than doing that last 20 minutes, they, they, they come out. And that can be the difference sometimes. But you have to try and get that message across to the players. You have to, you know, you just can't take them out of training and say, well, you can't do that because you're 34 years old. I mean, you need to talk to them and get them to understand and, and provide a sort of rationale behind your decision making or your, or, or your thinking. So, so it's important that you're able to communicate with the players and get that message across. And then you have to, you know, you have to sort of get that message across to the manager and the coaching staff as well, that, you know, that at some point, some of these players may just need to, to come out of that, that, that session. Um, but thankfully the players are, and, and, and the management and the coaching staff here are, are, are very understanding of that. And how are you coping at the moment with, because you've got, we've got quite a few injuries. Mm. Normally you'd have the players doing their rehab all in here together, right? But there's restrictions on how many people can be in here at once. Yeah, I think we're not too bad. Uh, we haven't got, we haven't got an, uh, that many injuries that it's, you know, that they can't all work in here together. I think it's just, a, it's just a, um, how you manage the gym really. So there might be three in here at a time, and three getting treatment and they might, they might change over. So it's not too bad. I think we can get six or seven in here, supposedly on, you know, that, 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 that's allowed. Um, so there's enough room in here really, and we've got upstairs. You mentioned about pre-season and not 
being able to do a, a proper one like you would normally. Mm. Gary Cahill actually talked about that. He said how difficult it's been for him coming back in because he got injured at the end of last season, so yeah. he didn't get that pre-season thing. How, yeah. Is it more important as a player gets older that they get proper preparation for a season? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Gary picked up that nasty injury, funny enough, against Chelsea at the back end of last season and then um, spends most of sort of lockdown um, you know, rehabbing, doesn't do the full pre-season. Uh, and it, it is difficult. I, d I don't know why, I, 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 there's no, I don't know what's so important about pre-season, but I just think it is so important for players. You know, pre-season is a sort of progressive sort of six weeks where, you know, you start, you know, doing some sort of general fitness work and then you, and then you progress it as you go along. Um, and you, and you do sort of more specific work and then you get your game minutes and that those game minutes have progressed from sort of 45 to 60s to 80s to 90s. And, and you tend to kind of miss, miss all that. You, you end up not doing any of that. You just go straight into a 90 minutes, for example. And it's a big ask now to, to if, you don't, if you don't play for, for say three weeks in the Premier League, for me, you, you, need, you need a game somewhere. You need to somehow get a game, whether it's with the 23s and, and, and Sean Derry. Um, or whether you have a training ground game here, but but you know one of the, one of the things we've tried to do this season is to, is to ensure that players are playing more competitive games and get more players into 23s games because it's it's so important that they get that exposure. You know, it's all right training and doing the training drills and things like that, but but nothing can compare can sort of prepare you for that 11 v 11 against opposition you're not used to playing against and. You know everything that goes into preparation of a game and how you prepare yourself and, and all that so and I think psychologically it helps a player as well if they get thrown into a, a Premier League game having played two 90 minutes you know in, in, in the previous two weeks I think they're a lot more confident um, about com you know completing the game. I suppose it's good that they've got such an amazing pitch down the road at the academy now. Yeah yeah it has made a big difference I think they used to play some of their games over here at the training ground and then some at Selhurst, but um, you know, it's, it's, I think they've got a full deso over there and I think it's going to be a great, great setup. Um, and the other, the other advantage as well is that we're, we're playing better opposition uh, now that we're a cat one. So you know, when we send three lads over there to play in a 23s game rather than playing sort of you know, Colchester under 23s, which is no disrespect to Colchester, they're now playing Aston Villa's under 23s or, or Fulham's under 23s. So, it's a lot more appealing for the players.